Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's hair care review. So today I do have a shampoo and conditioner to share with you. It is the Suave Deep Moisture Replenish Shampoo and Conditioner. So if you'd like to hear more about this, this is not a first impressions, it almost is. I've used this once before, but I do have some thoughts. So if you'd like to hear those thoughts, see a little demo, all that kind of stuff, then please keep on watching. Um, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell, all that jazz. That way you don't miss out on the daily uploads. Um, also become a member of this channel by hitting the join button down below. It is $4.99 a month. Um, you definitely don't have to, um, but if you do, you get videos two days early. Um, and once I get more members, I will be doing twice monthly um, live streams. Um, if you don't want to, that is cool. Still daily uploads. You'll have to excuse me, I just ate and eating makes me extremely tired now. Sorry, heater. It's a little bit later in the evening, so anyway. So I'm going to talk a little bit louder. Okay, so I think I purchased these right after I was gifted from my mother-in-law the coconut oil infusion shampoo and conditioner for my birthday. So it's been almost a year. Yeah, it was probably a few months after that. So it's been almost a year since uh, since I purchased these. And once again, still rummaging through, you know, I uh, one day, one day when I don't care and I won't be embarrassed, I'll still be embarrassed. But I'll have to just show you like kind of how things are kind of organized. Like I have a hair box of like hair stuff I haven't tried. I have a eyeshadow box and I'll, I'll have to do that. But so I was digging through, I'm like, what have I, you know, and so I found this. And so I, like I said, I've tried this once before. And so I do have some thoughts on this, but this is the deep moisture replenish. It's supposed to give you seven times more moisture and it's supposed to lock it in. And it's supposed to uh, be comparable to the Paul Mitchell instant moisture shampoo and conditioner. You get the regular 12.6 fluid ounces. And I do have to say, I really like the packaging. I think the silver with the blue is just really classy looking. And um, it is being made by Unilever, just FYI. And so this is supposed to give you a uh, salon quality um, moisture as well as Paul Mitchell Instant Moisture, daily shampoo and daily treatment. So it's, it's enriched with a hydrohumectant complex technology, instantly replenishes moisture for deeply nourished hair, leaving it healthy, soft, and full of luster. And then you just apply it and rinse it out like any shampoo and conditioner. So, let me go ahead and get my hair wet. My hair is two days old, so yeah, but my hair is getting dry for some reason. Even like my roots, like this is two day old hair. I could technically go another day, but I wanna wash it, so I'm gonna wash it. But I could probably, you know, I've got it trained now, I can skip a day, so I can probably start training it to skip two days, but I wanna wash it. So I have to say though, the shampoo and conditioner smells amazing smells like a mixture of like old school, like the old school um, herbal essences. If you're old enough, you know what like before they brought it back. Because they, they took away herbal essences for a, a while. It smells like uh, old school herbal essences and like uh, cream savers before they brought those back. It's like if herbal essences and cream savers had a baby. That's what this smell reminds me of. It smells really good, but let me go in and get my hair wet and then we'll lather up. So pretty good viscosity level. It's not super runny, which is something I always appreciate when it comes to a shampoo. This does have sulfates in it, so it lathers beautifully. Once again, I'll kind of run it down my lengths, but I just really just pay good attention to my scalp and, you know, wherever my hair is growing out of. So under here and all that, but I'll let it sit for a moment, but I don't like lather my ends anymore. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let that sit for a moment and I will be back after I rinse it out. I'll go ahead and condition and we'll finish chit-chatting about the deep moisture replenish from Suave um, and all that jazz. So I'll see you here in a sec. Okay, shampoo rinses out very nicely. My hair feels clean, lightweight, but moisturized. 
the conditioner is the kicker for me. I love this conditioner. It is lightweight, but not super runny. Okay. It has that same really nice scent to it. This is a conditioner that is kind of a sneaky peat. Oh, it smells so good. So it is moisturizing enough where I can use it in my ends and it's great. It Act, it helps to almost seal down those cuticles, makes my hair look a little bit less frizzy, stuff like that. But it's like, I have a little bit of excess left on my hands. I can actually run it through my roots without any issues. The, ex, the, the most, like the major amount is um, obviously on my ends, but I can use this in my roots. But I do like to let this sit for a few minutes. But let me go in and show you what my hair looks like dry. Once again, hair is air dried, no blow dryer. Um, I will always say if my hair is blow dried. That's why I'm just always letting you know either way. But my hair is air dried, so here you are. Yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful for a super affordable drugstore. To be fair, I've never used the Paul Mitchell um, Instant Moisture, but I love Suave. Um, absolutely recommend it, the Suave Professionals. Um, I love the Suave, the new pink rose one is great, the rose oil infusion. I love the coconut one, um, the one I was talking about, the coconut oil infused one is amazing. This one is, I think, better in my opinion than the coconut oil infused one. That one's amazing, but I like the the deep moisture replenish one more. Um, they're just really, really good shampoos and conditioners. So yeah, if you need a new shampoo and conditioner for summer, if you're gonna be hitting the beach, the lakes, swimming, um, and your hair is gonna be taking a beating because whether it's chlorine, the sun, salt water, you know, your hair, is affected by environmental stress just like your skin it's it, it takes a beating so I definitely recommend a good moisturizing shampoo and conditioner and if you need an affordable one I definitely recommend the deep moisture replenish it is great stuff affordable drugstore um, recommend checking out your local Walmart your grocery store stuff like that I will go ahead and link this down below um, it will be an Amazon affiliate link you're welcome to use it you definitely don't have to, it's just there for ease of shopping, but great stuff. Um, I think this has to be my favorite suave, like professional shampoo that I've tried. I do think that there is a difference between the suave professionals and the suave, um, like let's say the strawberry, you know, the sun ripened strawberry. Love this stuff, it's great, smells really good, does a really good job cleaning, but there is a difference. I do think that there is higher quality ingredients in the professionals than, you know, the 97 cents stuff that you get from Walmart. I still think it's great. I still recommend it. It's just, you're, it, it is going to be a price difference between like $1.99 or $2.99. I think it's like $2.99 compared to 97 cents. Um, both great, but I do think that this is a little bit more caring for your hair, but there's going to be a little bit of a difference. Still love this stuff. I need this stuff. Smells amazing. Um, but just want to say there is a slight difference. You know, there is a difference, I think, um, from my experience. Because, once again, um, I've been putting it off. I am going to be doing a major declutter shampoo and a conditioner declutter. I need to organize my little black rack that is right here. You can't see it because it's off camera. But And then right down here next to my tub. So I've been putting that off. So I'm going to be working on that. Ah, but um, I do think there's a difference, and um, I love this stuff. I think it is great. I think it is worth the $2.99. It's just a really good shampoo and conditioner. I definitely recommend it. So anyway, there we go. Um, I blabbered on long enough, but I hope you did enjoy this week's hair care review. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments, what is your favorite suave shampoo, whether it's the 97 cent ones or if it's from the professionals line. Let me know down below. Because even though I'm going to be doing a decluttering, 
I am always in the market for a good suave shampoo. So let me know down below. And um, of course, you're always welcome to follow me on my social media. I have um, Facebook and Instagram, and it is at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.